Hey guys, it's Clara from OFS. I've got some fleece and some faux fur, and I'm gonna make a hat. You can find all these materials at our site, onlinefabricstore.net. So let's get started. The materials you'll need are fleece, faux fur, I'm using bear skin, scissors, a fabric marker, pins, thread, and a hand sewing needle. Print, tape, and cut out the pattern pieces. I've done an extra small for babies, a small for children, and a medium and large for adults. Lay out the fleece with the wrong side up. Stretch the fleece both ways to figure out which side is stretchier. Place the pattern pieces accordingly. Trace around the hat top piece, then flip the pattern over on the fold line and trace the rest of it. You would normally fold the fabric in half and place the fold line on the crease, but since fleece is thick, it's easier to cut through one layer. Either way, you should have one piece after cutting. Trace and cut the hat bottom piece in the same way. Repeat for the faux fur. When cutting the faux fur, try using short snips to avoid cutting the pile too much. Also, cut two pieces of fleece that are one inch wide and about 18 inches long for the ties. Take the top piece and fold the first two triangles together with right sides facing. Sew down the side of the triangle with a quarter inch seam allowance. Put the edges of the second and third triangles together and sew. Continue sewing the triangles together. When only the two ends remain, put them together and sew all the way down so the circle is completed. Take the bottom piece and sew the ends together with right sides facing. Line up the seams of the top and bottom pieces and pin together with right sides facing. Make sure the ear flaps are facing up. Sew all the way around. Repeat the same steps for the faux fur. It can be a little slippery, so you may want to pin as you go. Cut one of the fleece strips into three equal strands. Leave about an inch at the top. Braid the strands together until you get to the end. If you want the ties shorter, you can cut off the extra. Knot the end, leaving about an inch below the knot. Make the strands even, then cut each in half to create a tassel look. Repeat for the other fleece strip. Pin the edges of the fleece and lining together with right sides facing and the seams aligned. At the bottom of the ear flaps, add the ties so just the top can be seen. Sew around the entire hat, but leave a gap of about three inches. Pull the hat through the hole to turn it right side out. If the fur gets caught in the seam, use a pin to pull it out. Fold in the edges of the opening and hand sew with an invisible stitch to complete the hat. 
If you're using a different lining, you could top stitch around the entire edge, but with faux fur, it looks better to have it sticking out. This hat is very warm, like too warm under these lights. We recommend it for outdoor use only. And you can also make a matching pair of very warm mittens. Thanks for watching this OFS project. Find these materials in a wide selection of fabric and supplies at onlinefabricstore.net.